everybody welcome back to another gta5 ls video for our tutorial today we're going to teach you how to install three amazing plugins for your game that will make your game feel so much more realistic and i absolutely love them so we're going to go ahead and get into it now i want you guys to be very careful on this page that you're on okay so this is um i call it the jojo's plugins um and what these are is it stop the ped which is right here ultimate backup and computer light okay these three mods right here will make your game feel so much more realistic and today i'm going to teach you how to install them but i do have to inform you this site is very it has a lot of ads so you have to be careful on what you click on now the creator of this actually created a patreon page where you can for one dollar a month you can download all plugins directly without intrusive and annoying ads okay if you don't want to spend that dollar a month um which I'll, I'll leave the link to his patreon in here for him because we love his plugins hopefully it comes back and starts updating stuff but i'm going to show you how to just use this page without you know spending that dollar and everything and just show you how to do it so you just got to be careful on what you click on and i may click on it where an ad pops up but i do have to inform you that there are ads in here and it's very sketchy so be careful what you click on um, I don't want any ads to pop up and you accidentally click on something. So just watch what I do and we'll go ahead and get into this. So we're going to start with stop the ped. But the very first thing that you guys want to do is go to Steam, Steam library, go to Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, and then go to properties, local files, and browse local files. Pull up your GTA 5 main directory. If you don't have it through Steam, that's perfectly fine. Just as long as you know where your GTA 5 main directory is, you're good to go. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here and we're gonna click on stop the ped. Again, there may be an ad that pops up for me. I'm gonna click slowly because I'm not trying to, you know, click on an ad that I should not be clicking on. So we're gonna click on stop the ped, which an ad just popped up. I'm gonna click X on that. We're gonna click on stop the ped again. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and scroll down. And again, this um, if you don't wanna do this, you guys could go to the Patreon and just join for a month. I don't personally know him. I'm not trying to promote his stuff. But I want you guys to feel safe when you're doing this. But um, right here, you guys will see that stop the ped. We can download this without de dealing with the, the ad that just popped up by just clicking X. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll down. And we're going to go down here to the bottom. So you have this right here that says stop the ped 4.9.5.1. You want to click this download right here, this button right here where it has an arrow that's pointing down. Don't click these. Click this right here, right here where my cursor is. So I'm going to click on that. We're going to go ahead and download that. Again, an ad just popped up. We're going to click on it again. Um, and an ad keeps popping. There we go. Now we are downloading it. Okay. So in here, you guys are going to see, it's going to say, you know, your computer is not going to like it if you download it. But I'm going to show you personally. Um, I mean, I have a channel that's 55,000 subscribers. I'm not here to show you anything bad. I'm here to show you how to put cool stuff inside your game for LSPDFR. So, and it sucks so bad that there's these, these, these type of ads on here. I wish he would just put it back on LSPDFR, but we're going to go to more actions. We're going to go to keep, we're going to go to show more and we're going to keep anyway. Okay. So now we have stopped the ped downloaded. All right. So again, I just clicked on another ad. You just got to be careful on what you click on on this. So we're going to scroll all the way back up to the top. And we're going to down all, download all three of these at the same time. So I'm going to go right here up at the top and click all posts. Just like so. Pulled up another ad. Um, go all post again. There we go. So now we're back on the main page. Now we're going to download ultimate backup. You guys won't have anything to worry about as long as you don't click download on stuff that you shouldn't. Just follow what I'm doing. So we're going to click ultimate backup. It's going to take us to ultimate backup. We're going to go and scroll down. We're going to go down here and we're going to click on this one right here. Okay. Click that. And now it's downloading. So now we have that. We're going to click on these three dots, more action. We're going to go to keep. We're going to show more and keep anyway. So we have stop the ped ultimate backup and we are going to do one more. Okay. So we're going to go up to the top. We're going to click all post again. Pulled up an ad. I'm going to click X real fast. I'm going to click all post. Clicked another ad. And 
um, we're going to go to computer light. So I'm going to click on computer light. We're going to go ahead and scroll down and download this one. So right here, we're going to click download on it. Hopefully it works. There it goes. So I'm going to click these three dots. I'm going to click keep. I'm going to go to show more and keep anyway. Okay. So right there, we have all three of them. Okay. Again, I know that site is sketchy. These are amazing plugins. Everyone uses them. We all have to deal with this unless we go to his Patreon. Um, so all of them are downloaded. No viruses on our computer. So we're good to go. Okay. Especially if you have ad blocker, ad blocker will block all that out. Um, so we got these three right here. So I use WinRAR to open up my zip files. I don't know what you guys use, but I use WinRAR. So you W-I-N-R-A-R, -R, just like so. You go right here, go to WinRAR, and you guys can go click in here. And I use the X64 right here at the top. So if you don't have that, I recommend downloading that, put that on your PC so you can open up zip files. I'll leave a link down in the description for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through these uh, downloads. I'm going to click right here, go to downloads, and we're going to open up each one. So make sure you have your GTA 5 main directory up. And we're going to go right here. And we are going to go ahead and open up our downloads. So we're going to start with the very first one, which is stop the pit. So let's go and open that file up. And we're going to go ahead and install this. So I'm going to go right here. We're going to open up this. We're going to go stop the ped. And we're only going to take one file out of here. We do not want Rage Native UI because it has not been updated since 1219 of 2021. So we don't want that. The only thing that we want, and make sure you're not clicked on any folders inside your GTA 5 main directory. Just click over here to the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this plugins folder right here, okay? We're going to drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory, just like so. All right? So now it is inside there. I don't know what that is doing. I don't want the game to open up. So again, drag and drop the plugins folder inside there. It's going to ask me to replace the files in the destination. I'm going to go in and replace the files. Perfect. So I just replaced the files. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the next download, which is going to be ultimate backup. So I'm going to click open file on this. I'm going to go ahead and open up my GTA 5 main directory. I'm going to click over here to the side. Then I'm going to take this file. I'm going to go inside ultimate backup folder. I'm going to go to plugins, drag and drop into my GTA 5 main directory. I'm going to replace the files since I already have them. Replace files. And now we are going to go exit out of this one. And we are going to go ahead and download Computer Light. People call it CompuLite. People call it all kinds of different names. I call it Computer Light. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. We are going to go ahead and pull up our GTA, my, GTA 5 main directory. We're going to take the plugins folder. Again, all we did is we went inside the computer light folder. We're going to take the plugins folder. Make sure we're not clicked on any folder inside our GTA 5 main directory. We're going to drag and drop into our GTA 5. So we're going to place files in destination. So we're going to go ahead and replace the files. And there we go. So now we have all three of them in there. So now what I'm going to teach you is how to change the keys up and then we'll jump in the game and show you how to use it. So we are going to go to plugins, LSPDFR, and we're going to find stop the pit. So that's the very one, first one we start, started off with. So you want to find this file right here that has the gear icon next to it. You want to right click on it, hit edit. You want to edit with notepad. So in here, stop the pet key is E. You do not want to use that. And the reason why you don't want to use E is because if you have someone pulled over and you um, or anything like that, you don't want to use E because it's going to use your air horn. I always switch this up to the letter K. So a capital K right there. So I made it a capital K. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and click file. And I am going to click save right there. So we're going to make it a capital K. So I am going to go ahead and click file, click save, click X. Now we are going to find ultimate backup. We're going to right click on this one. So the one with the gear icon next to it, we're going to right click on it, click edit. And we're going to go right here. I do not want it to be B. The reason why I don't want it to be B is because it's going to interact with our, our backup menu that comes with LSPDFR. So we don't want it to be B. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and change it to the letter O, a capital O on it. Okay. So capital O toggle menu key is going to be O. This is how we open it. So O is the one that I'm going to use. I'm going to hit file. I'm going to click save. 
All right, so now we are gonna go ahead and find computer light. And we're gonna right click on it. We're gonna click edit. We're gonna go right here and it's E. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and change that over to L. So a capital L on there, just like that. So I'm gonna hit file, I'm gonna hit save. And now what we are gonna do is click X out of this. Now it is time to open up our GTA 5 and get in here. And I'm gonna show you how this stuff works. It is absolutely amazing. Stop to pet ultimate backup computer light will change your whole gaming experience for LSPDFR. So let's go and jump inside GTA 5 and we'll show you how that works. So now that we're inside GTA 5, I'm gonna show you all kinds of stuff that come with Stop to Ped, Ultimate Backup, and Computer Light. So the very first thing is, one, you can hit the letter G. So if you hit the letter G and you go to Disable Realistic Weapon System. So if I try to, so right here, you can see I have my mm -hmm. pistol right here. So if i want i can go to my vehicle i can hit the letter g and i can go ahead and grab my rifle so i grab my rifle out of my vehicle just like so so i have my rifle right there if i hit the letter g again i can store my rifle inside my vehicle which makes it realistic now for those of you that have you know where you want to keep multiple guns uzis you know ak-47 stuff like that with with this right here, disable realistic weapon system, it makes it where it won't allow you. But if you hit this and make it where, you know, you can have any gun that you want now, um, you know, you can have AK-47s, all that. But if you if you enable it, it makes it where you can only carry the pistol or the rifle or the shotgun um, if you grab it out of your vehicle. So I wanna inform you of that, every one of that, because every time someone installs this, they're like, hey, I can't get all my guns just go through that step of uh, disabling it. I keep it enabled. The reason why is because it's more realistic. So if you also go to your trunk right here, hit the letter G, you could do narcotics field tests. You can also run serial number checks on fire, firearms. You can also dra grab traffic cones. So we're gonna grab traffic cones, just like so. And now we can lay traffic cones. So if you hit the letter G, so hit the letter G, you can go ahead and deploy a traffic cone. Just like so. You could deploy another traffic cone. You could just keep deploying them as much as you want. Just like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another one right here. And you guys can see we now have the traffic cones right there. If you guys want to get rid of the traffic cones, okay? You have two options. You can walk back to your trunk and store traffic cones, which we're, we're gonna go ahead and do because it's more realistic. So we can walk back over here, hit the letter G, and we can go ahead and store traffic cones, just like this. Put them back inside of our trunk. If you wanna get rid of the traffic cones that you just laid down, you can walk up to the traffic cone, you can press the letter G, and you can either remove the nearest traffic cone or you can remove all cones. So I'm gonna hit enter, remove all cones. So say you get in a shootout and you have blood on your shirt, or you just don't have no more armor or you need more bullets you can walk to your trunk press the letter g and replenish armor ammo and health just like this so you can see i have no armor right now now my armor is full uh, you will have no more blood on you and you will have more bullets so there you guys go on that so we can also go in and hop inside of our cruiser we can go find a pedestrian so we have a couple over here so i'm gonna turn my lights on i'm gonna go over here we're gonna mm -hmm. find us a nice pedestrian to harass so i'm gonna pull off right here I can't find where they moved the goddamn so if i hop outside my cruiser I, don't give a I can walk over to this guy and for stop the pet is the letter k but you gotta double tap it so we're gonna double tap the letter Wait k up. and now we have both of these individuals stopped so if i press the letter k one more time I can ask for ID, I can request ped check through dispatch, I can grab the ped, I can sit the ped on the ground, I can question the ped, pat him down, aka search him, um, filter sobriety test, I can do a breathalyzer, I can do a drug swab test, I can ask for a taxi, Uber, Uber ride, or an ambulance for the suspect, um, I can dismiss him on foot, so say I no longer want to talk to him, I can dismiss him on foot, or I can arrest him, so let's ask him for his identification. Let's see some ID, huh? So we get his identification Thanks. from him. His name is Jack Hoffman. 
that's great um we we are gonna go ahead we can press the letter g and request a pet check just like this it will run his name dispatch will give us his name back he is valid no active warrants i can press k again what i'm gonna do is I'm going to pat the suspect down so when we pat him down technically it is searching him but um it gives us a list of what he has on him so you can see right here a baggie of unmarked pills a handgun and a baggie of heroin so since we got a handgun off of him okay so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and let's go ahead and cuff him you're under Good arrest Lord you piece above. of crap have him turn around we'll go ahead and cuff him We'll go ahead and place him inside our cruiser. So if we walk next to our cruiser right here, we can press the letter G or it will prompt you already uh, put into rear seat. So we put him in the front seat or the rear seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in the rear seat. We're gonna open the door for him. He is now gonna take a seat. I'm gonna close that door. Now, if we go to the back of our vehicle, we can press the letter G. We found drugs on him and we also did a, found a firearm. So let's do a narcotics field test to see what these pills are that he had on him. So it looks like he has a baggie of unmarked pills. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go right here and we're going to test for ecstasy. Mm -hmm. And it shows that it is positive for ecstasy. If it is something else, let's say let's search it for LSD. If it's not positive, you will see results say negative in the left hand corner. So it says negative. So we found him positive. So he does have ecstasy on him. Let's also go in and run that firearm. So we'll go right here, evidence check. Let's go weapon serial number check. And we'll have dispatch run the serial number on a handgun. Right there, Mike 780393Tom. And it looks like it comes back registered to him. So now that we found drugs on this guy, okay, we are gonna go ahead and hop inside our cruiser. Now that we are inside our cruiser, all we have to do is hold down L. When we hold down L, it pulls up computer light. What computer light is, is it's your computer system where you have court cases, vehicle records, and ped records. So the guy that we have stopped right now is Jack Hoffman. And we are gonna go ahead and see everything about him. He's 29 years of age. He lives at 8377 Sonora Freeway. I don't know how he lives off the freeway, but um, we're gonna go ahead and create a rest report. So. We got him and I have a new, uh, there's a plugin that has more realistic charges and citations, which I have to put back in. Um, but we got him for possession of ecstasy. Okay. So we can go ahead and submit them charges. He also does not have a license to carry a firearm concealed firearm. So we could go right here. We can go to other possessions. It looks like I don't have a, I mean, you could put a legal possession of a firearm um, since it's only really one that you could put in, but um, submit them charges. So he has two charges here, okay? So what we can do is if we want, we can call backup. We can hit the letter G, call, tr call transport for suspect. Required in grape seed. So now we have a transport unit coming in to transport this suspect for us. So we'll go ahead and let that unit go in and take them for us. This unit's going to walk up to the vehicle and get him out of the vehicle for us. We'll let that guy go in and take him. And it doesn't matter, he could still be sitting in the back seat for you. I'm going to show you how to use court cases. So they're going to go ahead and take him. You disgust me. So Jack right there is going to go ahead and go bye bye. Now the other individual that was next to him is still sitting here. Say you don't want to talk to him. You can walk up to him, press the letter K and go ahead and dismiss the uh, pet on foot. You can also call Uber for him. So I'm going to call Uber for him. And you will see a uh, Uber will come up. I like using the Uber and the taxi for when someone doesn't have a license. I'm not taking them to jail, but they're on the side of the highway. I'll call Uber and have them get a ride out of it. So you'll see the Uber is pulling up now. He is going to go ahead and get in that Uber and he is going to leave the location. Just like so. So now he is getting in the wow. Uber and he is now gone. You can also call for an insurance company to come pick up a vehicle if you like. So... 
the top inside our cruiser and let's go ahead and go to court cases so the guy that we just stopped jack right here has two charges um he got possession of ecstasy and you can see outcomes right here pending so if i reveal outcomes he got four years in prison oh my god he got four years in prison for possession of ecstasy so you also see the other charge that we got in and you can do all the charges at once um, legal possession of a firearm he got total of nine months in prison for that four years nine months in prison so you can actually see what these people get once you charge them so it, it's you know it makes it feel that much more realistic so we're gonna go ahead and back up and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get a partner so you have um you can get multiple partners you can also get a canine partner so if you hit the letter o and you go right here to the top backup type and you go canine partner you could spawn a canine partner in so say we want a canine partner and we're rolling as canine we could spawn that canine partner in you will now see the canine partner which is right there we can go ahead and hit the letter o again go back to canine partner change the texture of the canine however you want your canine okay you could change the texture on the vest you could change the color you can also change it where it says sheriff on it rescue security police and back to sheriff if you don't want the canine no more you can despawn canine so say you want the canine inside your vehicle walk up to your vehicle it's mostly on the right side where you can do it walk up to your vehicle press the letter t just like that your canine will now jump inside this vehicle canine is now inside the vehicle you can close the door you can walk away from the vehicle say you want your canine to be right there where you are hold t down canine will now exit the vehicle all right so we have a canine right here we are going to go ahead and despawn the canine so say you want the canine to attack someone i believe Idiot. if preston t or holding t the Don't canine you. partner will you. go ahead and attack the suspect if they run you sorry piece of crap. So if this suspect runs and I hit T, the canine will attack this suspect. Get this moron! There we go. So you press the letter T, not hold it down, but press the letter T. Canine will now attack that guy. So even though the canine attacked the guy and he's down. He's going to get back up. He's going to make it where I can cuff him. I'm going to double tap K. And I'm going to go ahead and arrest him. Or what I can do is I can oh, hold my gun at him. I can hit right on my D-pad. And have him put LSPD, his hands up. Because I am using a controller also. Have him put his hands up. And he will now get down on the ground. I could get right next to him. And I can hold and arrest him. Or I can hold E and arrest him. Just like that. We now have that suspect in custody. So, say I want a backup unit to my location. I hit the letter O, I could call patrol unit. Backup needed in grapeseed. I can ask for SWAT, I can ask for ambulance. I'm gonna call an ambulance since he got bit. Assistance required in uh, grapeseed. So I got an ambulance coming in to check him out and I also have a backup unit coming in. So say we don't want the canine no more. We're done with canine. Let's hit the letter O. Let's go to despawn canine partner. Hello. So we'll let EMS check this guy it's out. Really, Looks like really he's okay. Indication. We'll go ahead and have this other unit go and transport him. So now what we're gonna do is show you guys how to get a partner for your, you know, your patrol. Say you want a partner, hit the letter O, go to partner. You can spawn the partner with the same outfit that you have. Okay, you could recruit the nearest pet as your partner. Um, you can go ahead and select what kind of firearm the uh, partner has. You could copy from your player and what your player has, which will be the pistol. So what I'm going to do is spawn a partner with player's outfit. And now this partner is going to be right here next to me. He has the same outfit on me as what I have on me and if I hop inside my vehicle and I hit the letter T he's gonna hop inside the vehicle with me 
you always have to hit the letter T for him to hop inside the vehicle with you. Just like so. So say we go pull a vehicle over. Let's go over here. We'll go pull a vehicle over. I'm going to pull this guy over. Hopefully he doesn't run from me. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to have him stopped right here. I'm actually going to get him to move forward. This is a different plugin. I'm going to have him move a little bit forward. So when you're on a traffic stop, you can go ahead. Since you're already on the traffic stop, you can hold the letter L now. You could go to vehicle records and it will have the same truck that we pulled over. You have insurance status expired, registration status valid, and you got the register owner expired driver's license. So now you have that if you don't want to run it through dispatch. So right there, you know everything about it. Doesn't necessarily mean the register owner is driving it, but you know everything that you need to know before you walk up on that vehicle. Now, when I step out of this vehicle, my partner is going to walk on the passenger side. I'm going to walk on the driver's side. So watch my partner. He's going to walk on the passenger side. I'm going to walk on the driver's side. If you press the letter K, all you have to do is press it once. Press the letter K. You can ask for documents, driver's license, registration, proof of insurance. ID, huh? You can question the driver. Appreciate okay, it. you have questions. Have you been drinking? Do you smell alcohol on me? Is what the que what he asked. Um, you can ask where you're coming from. From the grocery store. You can ask to leave the vehicle. Okay, so you can order to leave the vehicle. Sometimes they won't hop out. Sometimes they will. See, he refused to hop out. So I give him a couple more chances and then there we go. He hopped out for us. So say you want a backup unit. The cool thing about backup units is they'll show up right behind you and not block traffic as long as you're not in traffic. Mm -hmm. So right here you see backup type, it says traffic stop. We can do um, traffic stop, we could do felony stop. If you do felony stop, obviously you got someone that's wanted or something like that. Um, so we're gonna do a traffic stop unit. Assistance required and grape seed. And you will see when they show up, they are going to pull right behind my vehicle. Charlie 4, roger that. We're in the area. So they are going to pull up right behind my vehicle. And there you go. Now you have a backup unit with you. You can also do traffic stop. You can ask for a canine unit. K9 unit will show up. You can walk up to the K9 and ask them to go in and sniff around hey. the vehicle. Um, you can get air air spotlight support. You can get a supervisor. Um, you wow. got code two, Hold code up. three, and you got partner canine. So um, we went over the stuff with the. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and hop inside our vehicle. The guy has expired license, expired red, or expired insurance. So you can go ahead and go ped records, find him right here. You can create citations. It will also show you previous citations. So you go citations, you could go document related, you could go expired, um, you go expired insurance once I find it, expired vehicle insurance and expired driver's license. You could print them citations out. You can make it where he appears in court or if he don't. If you want him to appear in court, it will show up in court cases. If he does not appear in court, it will not show up. So I'm going to submit citations. We're going to walk back up to this guy. So if we walk back up to what him, the fuck is happening? we can press the letter K. Wait up! Press the letter K. We can give him his citation. Issue ticket from computer light. So right here, we're going to go ahead and give him a citation. There we go. We just handed off documents to him. So I can press the letter K and I can have him get back in the vehicle and leave the vehicle leave with the vehicle so he's going right. to get back in the driver's seat go. Balls. just like that and now he is going to leave and there you guys go you guys basically have everything that you need to learn about stop the pad computer light and ultimate backup so um hopefully you guys enjoy it i do apologize about the sketchy site i have to deal with it and i just wanted to show you guys you can also join his patreon for as low as a dollar and get that stuff without dealing with that stuff um but yeah, hopefully uh, you guys didn't click on something that, you know, did anything. Uh, as long as you follow my steps, you'll be good. 
obviously I don't take responsibility for anything that you guys would happen to have clicked on. Um, this channel is not about that. I'm not here to harm anything about your PC or anything like that. I just want to show you guys how to install those amazing plugins. So we'll see you all in the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Do me that one favor. Smash that like button if you enjoy this and love it. And we'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.